hi yet another important video from the course control systems the step response of a first order system what is a first order system and what will be the response for a step input and the pole location and how the graph what is the conclusion and generally uh, main focus will be on the second order system and generally student will be forgetting about uh, doing the step response of a first order system before the exam point of view no even this has got very much importance yeah so let's go uh, stay with me so let's see what happens with the step response how the step response looks like what they what we have to derive okay so guys simply an rc network uh, simply an r and c network it can be considered for a first order system it's like this one here a first order system with a a uh, resistor and a capacitor over here over here and uh, uh, in s domain in laplace domain s comes in between uh, for the analysis to be easier the analysis is carried out in laplace transform and somewhere we obtain the inverse laplace transform and then we get the response okay so remember all these so we have vi of s over here vi of s Uh, resistance r and the capacitance in s domain it's uh, uh, the reactance will be the reactance will be uh, x is equal to 1 by j omega c isn't it so j omega is plugged in with uh, uh, s and c now this is uh, the s domain representation of a capacitor remember that when that reflects over here so it's uh, 1 by s c okay so it's grounded and we collect the output voltage v not of s again uh, over here now this is the arrangement according to potential divider rule what will be v not of s guys in order to conclude this one one have to remember two important points uh, a simple laplace transform pair and one need to have an idea on uh, splitting the given equation into partial fractions and evaluating the residues a and b and plugging in back for example that laplace transform which we use over here is here it's a laplace transform of a, um, <clears throat> laplace transform of e power e raised to at that will be 1 by s minus a don't get confused if it is positive over here that will be negative okay if at all we have a negative over here that will be positive remember this one right the laplace transform this one is this and if at all we apply the inverse laplace transform to this ratio that should be written back to this one why because inverse laplace transform on either side this gets cancelled and uh, inverse laplace transform of 1 by s minus a that will be e power e raised to plus at 1 by s plus a um the inverse laplace transform of this fraction will be e raised to uh, plus a minus a okay plus minus minus plus remember this one this one okay and on the on the go uh, one need to have an idea on how to split the partial fractions and uh, evaluate the residues a b c d if at all right so guys this one coming back to this one so uh, current i will be flowing okay current i will be flowing so what according to potential divider rule v not of s can be written as v not of uh, s can be written as supply this one input voltage vi of s into that impedance across which we are trying to extract that v not of s in a sense into 1 by sc by total impedance r plus 1 by sc so we are in search of a valid ratio a valid it may be the transfer function so v not of s by vi of s z equal to what is that so simplifying this one we have dragged this one over here we have 1 by s c in the numerator simplifying this one uh, uh, in the denominator we have sc part cross multiplying 1 plus s r c right so what gets cancelled uh, this sc and this one also gets cancelled so what we have is 1 by 1 plus s r c right so, so this is the one and here uh, now this is the transfer function of a first order system and more precisely this rc 
RC is known as the time constant and denoted some authors denote that with simply T or some authors go with the tau saying that it is a time constant. The product R into C is known as the time constant of any circuit and as far as our discussion is concerned it may be R into C some authors stick with T and some authors stick with tau represent that RC with tau right. So, if that is the case uh, V naught of S by V i of S is equal to it is a 1 by 1 plus S T. Now, here itself we can go for the we can show that where the pole location exists the po where the pole exists for a first order system ok let us do that later but the main focus is on response to step input. Step input we have a uh, uh, u of t and it is a uh, 1 for t greater than equal greater than or equal to 0 and 0 something like that ok. So, uh, the analysis is carried out in s domain so the Laplace transform of step function is uh, 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 1 by s guys we have a proof for that one ok. So, u of s u of s which is equal to 1 by s which is r v i u of s. Now, step input right. So, this one will be um, going back to this one uh, v naught of uh, s is equal to v i of uh, s into 1 by 1 plus s t is not it. So, um, now the step input is I mean the input is a step input. So, what we have is 1 by v i of s v i of s 1 by s. So, s into 1 plus s t as it is a simple pole. So, one need to have an idea how um, this equation can be split into its partial fractions. It is like this one, it is a simple pole ok. If we do not have any quadratic expression or we do not have any repeated pole or something like that. So, this could be split uh, into partial fractions like this one a by s plus b by 1 plus s t. So, guys this is the case ok. Now, we have to evaluate the residues a b and plugging in and finding the inverse Laplace transform gives the uh, response. Response should be in t domain ok. So, that uh, it is everything is in s domain the inverse Laplace transform obtaining the inverse Laplace transform will give us um, the step response of a first order system for a step input ok a step response of a first order system and this is this is simply v naught of s ok this is the continuation v naught of s. So, how to evaluate a a is evaluated making use of this uh, procedure this one come back to this one a is equal to 1 by s into 1 plus s t multiplied with the a residue into s and subjecting when this is made equal to 0 s is equal to 0 state s is equal to 0. So, in that case uh, this s and uh, this s exist no more and when s is equal to 0 in the sense uh, plugging in this s with a 0 this becomes 0 and a will be equal to 1 which is equal to a right yeah a is 1 over there according to the procedure for partial fractions. So, how to evaluate b once again the same ratio 1 by s into 1 plus s t multiplied with the b residue what do we have with the b what do we have with the b it is a 1 plus s t and subjecting s is equal to what uh, this one 1 plus s t equal to 0. So, s will be equal to minus 1 by t now this one ok. So, s should be plugged in with after this after this ratio is multiplied with this one it should be plugged in with minus 1 by t over here. So, in that case this gets cancelled and in the place of this s which we have 1 by s should be plugged in with minus 1 by t which is equal to minus t which is equal to minus r c ok. So, this is the value of a and this is the value of uh, b. So, those those values should be plugged in over here. So, v naught of s v naught of s will be equal to uh, what is that a a was found out to be 1 by s b is found out to be minus r c by 1 plus s t is r c ok we have r c over here um, yeah t. So, let us do for that one r c because uh, 
more convenient to understand okay so guys um, 1 by s as it is rc taking out rc as common from this and this what do we have is rc into s plus 1 by rc okay this gets cancelled and we are left with 1 by what is this this is completely v naught of s which is equal to 1 by s minus 1 by s plus 1 by r c so this is in s domain we need the response so hope you understood this one how to evaluate the values of a and b is simply partial fractions a basic very basic partial fractions if we have repeated poles or if we have um, a quadratic expression in the um, denominator that would have been tedious no it's a simple pole poles and so this is the simple method to evaluate the partial fractions okay so guys uh, what we have can you see this is completely a 1 by s plus a very much similar to this one 1 by s minus a or 1 by s plus a if it is a plus a this should be minus a t okay we have positive over here that gives a negative exponential right so um, inverse laplace transform either side here itself inverse laplace transform of this one inverse laplace transform of this one inverse laplace transform of the entire expression so guys uh, inverse laplace transform it's in s domain that will give us a uh, t domain v v naught of t which is equal to inverse la if the laplace transform of uh, laplace transform of uh, what 1 is 1 by s inverse laplace transform go ba goes back to that one right so it, it is 1 inverse laplace transform this one uh, 1 by s will be 1 minus yeah 1 by s plus a so e rise to it's a positive and so we have negative a it's a 1 by rc is the a term over here into t so this is the um, expression for the response of a first order system to step input all right so guys this is isn't this isn't the conclusion this isn't the conclusion what we have to show is the response step input isn't it so this is the step input this is the considering this to be the uh, t equal to 0 and t tending to infinite okay so uh, unit it said unit step input unit it's a unit step in what, what do we mean by that it's the amplitude is one so what will be the uh, how how this output will be for uh, where, where to start from for t equal to 0 what will be the response 1 uh, t equal to 0 v naught of t equal to 1 minus e raise to 0 t equal to 0 when t equal to 0 e raise to 0 that will be 1 minus 1 so that will be 0 so t equal to 0 the response is 0 right as t tends to infinite what do we have v naught of uh, t is equal to 1 minus e raise to minus infinite uh, this will be 0 e raise to minus infinite 1 by infinite that will be uh, 0 so what we uh, have is 1 so unity in the sense as t tends to infinity this finally this reaches the out input so this is the response we have to draw uh, one have to draw show show with this one this response right so guys yet another important uh, point to be noted over here is when t equal to rc guys when t equal to rc very important one uh, which is always forgotten about that concept when t equal to when t equal to rc we have v naught of uh, t is 1 minus e rise to minus 1 that will be 0 0.63 something like that 0 0.63 something like that okay so that which is known as the time constant of the circuit right t equal to rc the time constant the uh, time taken by the response to reach uh, what 63 percent if this is it's zero if this is 100 63 percent will be somewhere if this is 50 63 will be something else now here t equal to tau right time constant of the circuit not only this a pole location where do we get that pole location from um, what did we have v naught of s by vi of s was found out to be 1 by 1 plus 
st isn't it so this one making equal to this gives us the pole location so what is that um, uh, yeah, we have to show that on the S plane, isn't it? So we don't have there. <coughs> so 1 plus ST equal to 0, S will be equal to minus 1 by T. Now this is the pole location. How to show this? Simply on the S plane, S plane S is equal to some dot over here like this one, minus 1 by T and this is the pole location for the um, first order system. Right. So make a note of this one. Hope you understood the analysis. Thanks for watching.